Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to continue our discussion with the shortcut keys that we have been covering since past few videos. In this video, we are going to discuss about the combination of the control and the function key shortcuts in Microsoft Excel. So basically, we are going to see that what happens if we press control keys along with a shortcut of any of the function keys ranging from F1 to F12, then what functions do they perform or what output do we get? So this is the simple thing that we are going to show today. For your reference, as always, on the left side of the worksheet, you can see that there is a table which has keys ranging from F1 to F12 and the functions written when they are used in combination with control keys. So uh, for your reference, you can refer to this table and I'm also going to show you the practical demonstration of each of these shortcuts simultaneously. So let us start with a video. First shortcut that we have of the control key is of control F1 which is used to hide or show the ribbon. So first of all is what is a ribbon? If you go to this tab bar over here, these are these different tabs like the home tab, insert, page layout and so on. So if we just click on any of the tabs, the contents here change. So the place where these contents are stored dynamically is actually known as a ribbon. If you want this ribbon to be visible always, or if you want to hide this ribbon, basically if you want to toggle between its visibility, then you can use the shortcut Control F1. So let us type Control F1. You can see the ribbon has been hidden. Now, if you uh, see, if you just click on this tab and you want to perform any action, suppose I want to change its alignment, so you can perform the action. And as soon as you click on the sheet, the ribbon goes off. But if you want it to be visible every time, what you can do is again press Ctrl F1 and it would be visible at all the times. So this is how you can toggle between its visibility. Next shortcut we have is of Ctrl F2 which is used to bring up the print menu. This shortcut is similar to Ctrl P which is also used to bring the print menu. But let's see its demonstration. Ctrl F2 brings you to the print area and here you can perform all these options that uh, help you to customize your printed page and we have already covered about it in the detail in one of our previous videos so i'm not going to cover it in detail over here okay then uh, using the shortcut Control f3 we can define a name range now what is a name range we all know it's a named array that helps us to reference to that particular range of data from anywhere in the workbook suppose i have some data like the days of the weeks ranging from monday till say sunday and i want to name it so what i got to do is just select all the data that i want to provide a name then use the shortcut Control f3 and it asks me that what you want to do you want to edit an existing name range or you want to add a new name range so i want to add a new name range this uh, refers to the sheet named as control keys as you can see my sheet name is control keys and the range of the data that i have selected it has got so what name you want to perform uh, to want to give it so i'm going to give it days and i click on ok you can see this days has been added you can just close this dialog box and if you go here you can see days is existing as a name range if you just click on days so this days is being referred over here. So this is what is the use of the name range, but we already knew that. So it is a new shortcut control F3 for the name range. Next we have control F4, which is used to close the window. Suppose I have this window open right here. If I press control F4, then it would prompt me to save the changes. So if you want to close it, you can save the changes or you can don't save it totally your choice but I don't want to close it. So I'm going to use the third option that is of cancel. Then we have control F5 that is used to restore the size of window. Now uh, my window size is maximized. 
but I want to restore it to its original size. So for that, what I got to do is press Ctrl F5 from my keyboard and you can see that it has been restored to its original size. If you want to change its original size, you can just resize it like this. And it would be changed. Uh, its original size would be changed. Now, if you maximize it again, then it has changed to its maximum size. Control F6 is used to toggle between workbooks, but for that purpose, more than work, one workbook must be open. Currently, I have only this workbook open. So first of all, let us open another workbook. So I have this all shortcuts in MS Excel workbook. I have opened this. Now I've got two workbooks. Now I can uh, easily toggle between them using the shortcut control F6. You can see as I press control F6, I can toggle between these workbooks. Control F7 is used to move window using keyboard. Now what is its purpose? For that, first of all, we need to restore the window to its original size by pressing the shortcut key that we just learned, Control F5. Now, if we press Control F7, then what happens is we get this move tool. Now, using the arrow keys, we can move our window to any place that we want. Earlier, you used to use mouse for this purpose, but using this shortcut key, we can use our arrow keys for the same purpose. Once you're happy with your workbook's position or your window's position, you can simply press the escape key to change things back to normal. Next, what we have is resize window using keyboard. Just now, what we did was restore the window size and resize it to make it somewhat big, but we used mouse for this purpose. So if you don't want to use mouse, but only want to use the keyboard keys, then what you got to do? All you got to do is use Shift F8 from your keyboard. Let's see. Sorry, uh, you got to press Control F8 from your keyboard. I have pressed Control F8. And now if I use my arrow keys, then you can see uh, by pressing these arrow keys, I'm able to resize this window size like this okay like this okay up down left right anything that you want and again if you want to come out of it and change things back to normal all you got to do is press escape from your keyboard next shortcut we have control f9 which is used to minimize the workbook now if you press control f9 your workbook is minimized if you want to bring it back, here it is. Okay. Control F10 is used to restore workbook. Now, what is its uh, usage? If you just maximize it, restore workbook helps you to change it back to its original size. And if you again press Control F10, then uh, you can change it back to its maximum size. So it is basically used to toggle between the sizes like this. Small size, maximized. Small size, maximized. Like this. Okay. Then, uh, using the shortcut Control F11, we can open a new macro sheet. Now, uh, using this shortcut, we are in the same workbook, but a new sheet, uh, specifically a macro sheet, would be opened in the same workbook. So, let us uh, use it. You see, I just pressed Control F11 and I got a new sheet named as macro 2. By default, it is macro one, but since I have already opened one macro sheet, so it's been named as macro two. Now it has got all the functions similar to a normal sheet. You can just right click and you can insert uh, anything to it, any picture or thing. You can delete it. You can rename it. You can move or copy it. You can protect the sheet. You can change its tab color to suppose I think I change it to red so that, you know, I'm able to identify that this is a macro sheet. Okay, so I have changed its color to red. So macro two is what we have got. Okay, so if you just go to other sheet, so it is visible in red color to easily identify it. So that was with control F11. Then we have control F12. Now this shortcut helps you to open any of the existing workbooks in your system. So if I press control F12, it takes me to this option here. I can open anything. Suppose I want to open this chart customization sheet. I can 
click okay so it is actually used to save your worksheet not open it that was a mistake over there uh, you can correct it that it is used to save a worksheet so if you want to save a worksheet say i want to save it uh, by the same name that is shortcuts in ms excel 2 so i'm just going to select it click on save do you want to replace it yes of course and yes it's saved so let us correct it over here instead of open it's actually save so yes that was all about the control key shortcuts that um, you can use in combination with all the function keys ranging from f1 to f12 now basically uh, what is the usage of these shortcuts they are used to apply some of the features in windows like resizing it or uh, moving it or uh, toggling between the sizes minimizing it maximizing it etc but some important features that we got to know was toggling between the status of the ribbon defining a name range printing and so on so that is all for the video i hope you all have learned something new thanks for watching